the Witness Protection Program. We've seen it in the movies. My dear Witness Protection, y'all ain't better. But how does it play out in real life? Is it like in the movies? Was your experience like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. It's not like, oh yeah, Witness Relocation, we're gonna put you in this nice little house and you, you know, you get this new ID and new credit cards. And no, it's not like that at all. We got stuck in a little hotel that was about the size of a studio for a family of what? Me, three kids and a boyfriend. This woman was put in the state's witness protection program after a friend confessed to her teenage daughter in 2006 that he was involved in a gruesome murder. She said she was scared. She didn't want to, you know, have to say anything bad against a friend or anything. And I, I told her that um, she, she needed to basically just do the right thing. So her daughter took her story to Boston police. And the next day, without knowing where they were going, the family was taken to a Braintree hotel where they stayed for a year, sworn to secrecy. I don't even think I told my mom. Forced to quit her job, the family relied on a weekly $200 check from the state, and she says they received $1,200 each month for the hotel stay. But since then, funding for the program has taken a hit. Suffolk County DA Dan Conley says the decline started during the recession and the program has yet to recover. But the fund has been depleted so severely that fewer and fewer people have been able to be protected, and as a result, we've seen fewer homicides being cleared. In 2007, county officials spent on average $10,800 per case. Last year, just $2,100 per case. That means offering bare bones protection to the program's participants, one third of whom are children under 16. Even $10,000 doesn't seem to cover what a child would need in terms of the amount of services. Children and adolescents would need professional help, which would include counseling. Um, for some, it can even include medication for issues like depression and anxiety. Issues that this woman says her then 14-year-old daughter was dealing with. Um, I don't think that they ever asked us kind of counseling or anything like that. Um, I know I think it might have helped my daughter at the time. Governor Charlie Baker has recommended increasing the witness protection budget to $113,000, but State Rep Russell Holmes and others are calling for at least $250,000. I believe we really should start to, to not nickel and dime this issue any longer. We should really have more of a comprehensive uh, look at this. Advocates say more money for witness safety is critical to getting testimony that's invaluable for prosecutors and families searching for closure. Put yourself in those family shoes. The moms, the dads. I, I just can't imagine not speaking out on that. For the Boston Herald, Prisca Point du Jour.